being left-handed. One of every ten people walking down the street is left-handed. Everywhere they go, left-handed people come across tools designed for right-handed persons. From scissors to camcorders to screwdrivers to hockey sticks to baseball gloves, lefties learn early that they must develop compensating skills to live in the world designed for right-handed people. If you're a right-handed person, try this experiment sometime, grab a scissors with your left hand and try cutting a piece of paper. Don't be surprised if the experience feels awkward. Thankfully, companies make left-handed scissors, left-handed camcorders, and other left-handed tools. But often, left-handed persons find themselves in situations with no choice but to use something designed for right-handed persons. In ages past, Society was hostile to left-handed persons. Young students who preferred using their left hand to write were punished for doing so. Some of these students eventually learned to write with their right hand, but only after enormous effort. These days parents and teachers are far more accepting and understanding. In almost every school in the world, Students who are left-handed are allowed to continue using their left hand to write. Medical researchers have searched long and hard for what causes people to be left-handed or right-handed. The researchers have concluded that left-handed people are left-handed for the same reason brown-eyed people with brown eyes. It's just one thing that shows up in one out of every ten people. An interesting question is whether there's any connection between left-handed people and creative genius. Some of history's most creative minds have been left-handed. In the category of art, both Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were left-handed. In the arena of music, Ludwig van Beethoven was left-handed. In the field of science and invention, you find Benjamin Franklin, Isaac Newton, and Albert Einstein, in the field of motion pictures, Charlie Chaplin. Bobby Fischer, the modern chess genius, was left-handed. So too musical geniuses Bob Dylan, Paul McCartney, and Wynton Marsalis. Each of these persons had a mind so exceptional as to be far above anyone else in their field. So even though it may be more difficult for a left-handed person to live in a right-handed world, lefties can know that they are in good company. Beethoven and Einstein had it tough, too. Phil Shapiro Phil Shapiro P. Shapiro at his dot com http colon slash slash www dot twitter dot com slash phil Shapiro. public domain freely distributable for any purpose i support open source dot com and encourage you to visit Learn from and contribute to that community of people building a more inclusive and hopeful future. If you'd like to support my creative work, kindly do these two steps. 1. Follow me on Twitter. 2. Send me a small donation via PayPal. 2. P. Shapiro, at, his, dot com. If you make any open content educational materials, do please send me an email telling me about them.